Welcome everybody. We are on site at Founder World in San Francisco. Joining me in the studio right now is Sang Lee. He is the CEO of Dark Matter. Welcome to the studio, Sang. Thanks for having me. <laughs> awesome. So let's talk a little bit about Dark Matter. Yeah, what is absolutely. it? What do you do? All that crazy. So stuff. Dark Matter is a SaaS-based platform that allows asset managers like fund managers, venture capitalists, hedge funds, to basically manage, optimize, and access new investors uh, in the investor world. Interesting. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so how does that work? So when an actual asset manager raises capital, yeah. it's much it's not dissimilar to startups raising capital. Okay. So a lot of people think that fund managers are born with money. Uh, they actually go through the exact same process a startup would. So they have to identify investors, see which investors are right for them. And then, unlike uh, startups, they have a very complicated onboarding process of identifying them, qualifying them, making them sign documents, and making sure they're a part of the system, if you will. That process is done exclusively offline today, right now, by people and spreadsheets. And we're bringing that to the cloud for the first time. So asset managers like BlackRock and a lot of these other firms you may have heard of still use staff and paperwork to identify these investors. We're going to bring that to a data-driven model. So that's, that's interesting. So it sounds like you know, a very old style uh, marketplace or I guess segment that's coming into the, the new tech world. Are there any other sort of trends in that, in that space of uh, changes in tech? Yeah, absolutely. So I think a lot of the technology that's been developed on Wall Street primarily uh, were siloed for each firm. So they developed a lot of legacy software that was ideal for one firm, but nobody else can use. So you had these massive software development companies that had $5 million contracts, and would develop one piece of software for one firm, but that wouldn't work anywhere else. Uh, what we see is that a lot of large financial institutions are migrating to the cloud. And this is going to require a lot of change and a lot of capital invested, but at the same time, what we think is a positive in that regard is that it's going to promote a lot more transparency into Wall Street. When you don't have siloed off information, what you kind of force upon people is being transparent and you know, uh, forthcoming with the information that they have. That's pretty cool. And so you guys are here today. You know, there's thousands of people walking around. You guys are set up with a booth. Yep. And I'm talking about dark matter. Yeah. What is it that you're hoping to get out of the, the, the two days and what attracted you to found yeah. You know, it's, what's interesting is uh, we, we obviously attend events like this. Uh, some of the key things that I like to take away are when people hate our products. Because <laughs> it gives me a perspective on what we need to improve and what we need to change. Um, being based in New York, obviously we don't get out here as often as we'd like, but we obviously love that, that pure technology angle that San Francisco can kind of bring us in terms of our business model as well as our product. So we hope to connect with a lot of like-minded people um, as well as potentially investors. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and there's lots of them here today. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. So other than uh, you know, your core business and the cloud, you know, we talked there's a lot of technology here today. What excites you in the technology world? I think the the advent of technology itself in financial services is something that really you know, gets me up in the morning because technology itself, while it can be fallible, most times people can't screw with it. And, and, and when you think about that and you think about Wall Street and how vilified it's become over the last 10 years, it's, it's, it's quite something that's really, really sad because financial services in and of itself is supposed to be about value transferring from me to you and doing well by doing well for you. That's really the, the, the genesis of the whole thing. And Wall Street created this environment where things are done in back rooms, without technology, over phone calls, without people being accountable for their actions. And for the first time, I think what we're seeing is not firms building technology, but rather technology firms that are entering financial services, which I think is very, very exciting. That's pretty cool. Do you have a uh, favorite Google technology? You know, we started our business off of Google, right? As many startups do. So there's so many things that I like about the Google platform, but particularly we, we use a lot of the Google Analytics. So Google Analytics has been kind of the bread and butter, I think, of many, many startups, but it really helps us understand our core constituents, how they behave, and how we can improve our business. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining me, and thank you guys for joining me. My name is Corey, and we're on site at Founder World in San Francisco.